The Premier is facing mounting pressure tonight to reveal whether WA's hard border could crumble by Christmas. Mark McGowan today doubled down on a roadmap to reopening, echoing the same message a dozen times. The Premier is stuck on repeat. Uh, we'll continue to take the advice of the Chief Health Officer on all these matters. The Chief Health Officer provides us with advice. We'll act upon his advice and we'll take his advice. What's key is the advice the Chief Health Officer provides us. As he provides us with further advice, uh, we will consider and act upon it. As he he us us Tourism Council polling shows 70% of people now support a roadmap for reopening WA by Christmas. There's lots of polls around on various issues. I generally don't comment on them. So as the rest of the nation, including Victoria, plan for reunification and travel options, WA continues to go it alone, leaving separated families without any idea of when they'll meet face to face and our tourism industry anxious about a lack of direction. But it's that ability to plan ahead, for families to plan, perhaps a Christmas reunion, uh, for businesses to plan. I can go and recruit staff because I expect that I will be able to offer them a job in March next year. He said $2.4 billion had already been lost in his industry this year, on average $200 million per month. The uncertainty risking 20,000 jobs. But fortunately, the case numbers in Victoria are going down. I'm pleased. Uh, that they are getting into a very strong position. And obviously there are all sorts of things that the Chief Health Officer takes into account. Dr Andy Robertson is due to update his border's advice tomorrow after recent garbled messaging about travel bubbles that caused the Premier some pain. But two of his senior ministers having no problem staying on message today. And we'll continue to monitor um, the health advice. We'll continue to provide advice uh, through as we get that from the Chief Health Officer. The opposition said the Premier needed a plan. West Australians are starting to realise that WA could be the only state closed this Christmas. When we make a decision in relation to these matters, uh, obviously uh, any advice would be provided. As promising as Victoria's zero recorded cases might be, Dr Robertson has been wanting to see 28 days straight of no community spread in any state or territory. And the Premier has previously ruled out travel bubbles with some states and not others. It now appears both men have put obstacles in the way of reopening WA that look impossible to overcome, at least in the near future. Tracy, we should know more about their deliberations later this week. All right, Gary, thank you.